Hi, I'm James Francis, I'm 17 and I'm from a small town just outside of Shrewsbury in Shropshire. I'm currently studying at Cheshire College South and West on a BTEC Level 3 Acting Diploma, which I very much enjoy. I'm very interested in theatre and I like to go as much as I can, as well as uh, obviously taking part in theatre groups. I try to go and watch a show at least once every mo month if I can. Uh, another thing I'm very interested in is music, and I've uh, taught myself how to play the guitar over the past two years. Uh, obviously I'm still learning and I enjoy learning a lot. I think music's probably the best way of conveying human emotion, and uh, I think it's something you can use to sort of fix every situation. You know, if you're feeling sad or you need some winding down time, I think music's definitely got the power to make you feel better. Um, how I got into acting was uh, I actually started at a musical theatre group at a local dance academy and uh, it was because I went to watch a production of Annie with my family and um, whilst I was in the audience I sort of realised I was like I'd really like to do this so um, I joined that group and uh, my first production was The Wizard of Oz in which I played the wizard and I only had three lines I uh, very much struggled with stage fright at the time but uh yeah over the years i've become a lot more confident and i couldn't imagine myself doing anything else which is exactly why i'd like to train on your course so i can become a professional actor one day and uh yes i will be performing for you today benvolio's monologue from romeo and juliet and brandon's monologue from unbearable hotness I'm James Francis, I'm going to be performing Benvolio's monologue from Act 3, Scene 1 of William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Tybalt here slain, whom Romeo's hand did slay. Romeo, who spoke him fair, bade them to think how nice the quarrel was, and urged with all your high displeasure. All this uttered with gentle breath, calm look, knees humbly bowed, could not take truce with the unruly spleen of Tybalt deaf to peace, but that he tilts with piercing steel to bold Mercutio's breast, who all his heart turns deadly point to point, and with a martial scorn of one hand beats cold death aside, and with the other sends it back to Tybalt, whose dexterity retorts it. Romeo, he cries aloud, hold, friends, friends, part! And swifter than his tongue, his agile arm beats down their fatal points, and twixt them rushes. Underneath whose arm, an envious thrust from Tybalt hits the life of stout Mercutio. And then Tybalt fled. But by and by comes back to Romeo, who had but newly entertained revenge, and to it they went like lightning. For here I could draw to part them, was stout Tybalt slain. And as he fell, did Romeo turn and fly. This is the truth or let Benvolio die. I'm James Francis. I'm going to be performing Brandon's monologue from Act One of Gabrielle Davis's Unbearable Hotness. I just fucking killed Chuck, I think. I mean, he's just laying out there. He's not moving. I don't think he's breathing. I mean, there I was just up on the roof of Marissa. Laughing, talking, having a great time. I tell her she reminds me of Sandra Bullock. I tell her I love hope floats. Who knew those would be the magic words? Anyway, next thing I know, I close her off, and we're loosening roof shingles like there's no tomorrow. And there's biting, and kissing, and touching. And then someone just starts beating on me. I mean, just, just pounding on me. And growling. Yeah, growling. So I look up and there's Chuck and I'm like, what's the problem? And he says, the problem is, dude, you're fucking my girlfriend. And so I look at Marissa and I'm like, you're someone's girlfriend? She says, no. Anyway, then it comes out that Chuck just wishes she was his girlfriend and that she's actually just his cousin or something. And so he has these feelings of guilt about wanting her. 
And then he starts crying. So that ruined the mood. Marissa put clothes back on and went back down through the roof. Back into the party. And I'm left here with Chuck. Just blubbering, whining, crying Chuck. I'm James Francis, I'm going to be playing Bender from The Breakfast Club. What do you care what I think anyway? I don't count, right? I could disappear forever and it wouldn't make any difference. I may as well not exist at the school, remember? And you, you don't like me anyway. God, you're pathetic. Don't you ever, ever compare yourself to me, okay? You got everything and I got shit. Fucking Rapunzel, right? School would probably fucking shut down if you didn't show up. Hey, Queenie isn't here. I like those earrings, Claire. Are those real diamonds, Claire? I bet they are. Did you work for the money for those earrings? Or did Daddy buy you those? I bet he bought you those. I bet those were a Christmas present. You know what I got for Christmas this year? It was a banner fucking year at the old Bender household. I got a carton of cigarettes. Old man grabbed me and said, hey, smoke up, Johnny. So go home and cry to your daddy. Don't cry here, okay? <sighs>